This video is all about adding a parts list and balloons to an assembly drawing. My name is Matthias and this time let's start with having a look at the final drawing first. One of the first things you'll probably notice is the parts list and the balloons. I'll zoom in a bit to show you where they are pointing to. Can you see the blue circle with a cross? This is called a part reference. It labels a geometry as a part and also contains information about it. When you want to create a parts list, it all starts with adding these part references. Let's go back to an earlier stage of the drawing and see how to do that. I want to add a part reference to this gland. First I switch to the Annotate tab and click the Part Reference button. I select the geometry and attach the part reference. As you can see, I place it on a line. I could as well click in free space, but then when I move the part, the reference won't move with it. In this dialog box, AutoCAD Mechanical asks me to add some information like name, description, and material. And that's it, we created the part reference. Of course, you can always go back and edit a reference. As usual, if you want to edit an object, just double click it, or in this case, you can as well use the ribbon and select Edit on the Part Reference drop down. When you do that, all part references will be highlighted. This makes it easier to select them. As you can see, there are quite a few that we didn't create. The answer is, they all belong to standard parts. In AutoCAD Mechanical, standard parts automatically come with part references already. So no extra work here. Now let's say I want to edit the component properties of this pin. I click and the dialog box pops up. There's already some information for this part. Let's say I want the name to be the ISO number only. Okay, so now we have all the part references we need. Next thing I'll do is to generate the bill of materials, or short BOM. This is sort of a database for all part references. When I click the BOM button, AutoCAD Mechanical scans the drawing and collects all the information from the part references and lists them in a table. Each column represents a component property and you can easily add or delete one. Now have a look at the screws. Even though it's the same item, they are placed in separate rows, one for each copy. But no worries, the bomb gives you the opportunity to merge rows. First I sort the list by name to find all repeated parts. Then I select the screws and click Merge. Now they have one item number and their quantity is two, just how we wanted it. After merging all repeated parts, the bomb looks like this. Working with bombs becomes especially interesting when you want to insert different parts lists, for example for supple samples. Then you can manage them here. But for this example, let's just leave it like this. We created part references and generated a bomb. That means we are ready to insert balloons. I click the balloons button and pick the select all option in the command line. My selection is now restricted to part references. I want to avoid repeated balloons so I only pick the upper half. Deselect the duplicate washer and place them horizontally. Due to merging, the item numbers are not consecutive, but we'll edit them later. Let's go on and insert the parts list first. I want to place it above the title block. I click the parts list button and the dialog box pops up. This table derives from the one you've just seen in the bomb dialog box. Changes here affect the bomb as well as the parts list and vice versa. So it's up to you where you want to make your changes. I click OK and place the parts list. As you can see, we still have to rearrange and sort the item numbers. To do that, I go back to the balloon panel and click the renumber command. In the command line, I specify the start and increment value as 1 and pick the balloons one after another. 
Have a look at the final result. In addition to the balloons, the parts list also changed accordingly. Last I want to sort the parts list by item number in ascending order. I double click the list, click the sort button, specify the key, and we are done. Even if I delete or add new part references later, Bomb and Parts List will update automatically. Finally, let me sum up what we did to come here. We added part references, generated a bomb, and eventually placed balloons and inserted the parts list. There are still many more things you can do with bombs, balloons, and parts lists. Check the AutoCAD Mechanical Help for more details.